Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to our homestead. I've been working all morning clearing out uh, my classroom at uh, the high school where I teach and um, just came home. On the way, I bought some Kentucky Fried Chicken right here uh, from Colonel Sanders. We usually buy 14 for 14 and we get some pretty good chicken that way. Um, I select my first one here. Pretty good piece. And um, I think uh, not everybody in the United States can get 14 pieces for $14 of Kentucky Fried Chicken, but here in KC we can. I worry about the size of these pieces. I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe these are from those super-sized chickens with the broken legs who can't support themselves that were shown in uh, a lot of documentaries. Okay, this is Kevin Stoda, and you're enjoying the Kevin Stoda channel. And we're going to eat a little bit uh, uh, Filipino style. We're going to have Mang Tomas's all purpose sauce. Uh, we usually do um, hot spicy peppers or sweet chili peppers and, and vinegar, and we dip our, our chicken into it. See, so I got my rice here in the background my rice and I've got corn on the cob that uh, Vic, my wife prepared. I'll put some of that sauce over here by the rice. It's kind of, it's an unusual color. I don't know what all they put in there. Let's see, they've got breadcrumbs, <laughs> uh, starch, onions, garlic, palm olein. I don't know what palm olein is. Uh, black pepper and, and preservatives, all kinds. All right. Put more of that on there because I need the dip. Mm -hmm. well, I guess I'll have to turn that upside down like I told Kenzie before. Turn it upside down and see if we can not knock it over by accident. Uh, we got that at the Pan Asian store last week. Okay, so we usually take the uh, crispy chicken and we dip it in the sauce and we eat it with rice. Mm. If you're from Asia, a lot of people eat the, not just with chopsticks, but they eat with their fingers rice. Mm. In Japan, you have onigiri and all kinds of rice that you eat with your fingers. Mm. And India, of course, you eat with your fingers. Rice. And if you're American, of course, you eat your corn on the cob through your fingers. Mm -hmm. Rice and sweet. My wife also prepares. Um, or the water from the corn. She cooks a long time and it takes on the flavor and it makes a really nice corn tea. I recommend you try it sometime. It's sweet by itself. You don't add sugar because it's sweet corn. Of course. So, as I said, you break off the, the wonderful crispy chicken. You dip it in uh, Sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Vic says it's the best crispy chicken in the country. Mm -hmm. My brother who lives out in the city says though that the Kentucky Fried Chicken is not up to standard. And he says he's often finding it to be the case. Says it's because the kids don't who work there usually don't even eat much chicken, uh, crispy chicken. They're from many different countries and they don't grow up eating fried chicken as much as we are. <clears throat> what do you think of Colonel Sanders? Hmm? What do you think of Colonel Sanders? Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm having trouble with this, so I'll see if it comes down now. Yeah, it's even harder than the ketchup, Kenzie. <laughs> Why are you asking me? I'm not asking, I'm telling you. Have you tried this sauce before? No. It's called Man Tomas. I'm not even looking at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me pour it on your head. You can't do that. Ha ha ha. Good if we were outside and I had a hose. Mm -hmm. Hear that crunchy sound? I was going to call this episode Kentucky Fried Chicken in the time of the COVID-19 virus. But I thought that would scare you guys off. I really like Kentucky Fried Chicken. And the guy who served the food today was wearing a mask and gloves. And I was very happy. You don't see all young people doing that. Yeah, now the restaurants are being opened slowly around Kansas City, uh, Missouri, uh, starting this, uh, I think last Friday was the first day, and people are going to the restaurants up 10 at a time, I guess, or maybe even more of the restaurants, huge. Mm. Other parts of the country, I hear that people have to go in a restaurant and sit at their own table. I don't know. I don't think that's happened in Missouri, but it should be, but it's not. So at one place I heard um, they put a mannequin in the seats at the cafe. So you have somebody to sit by, so you don't have to sit by yourself. Um, the problem is uh, most people don't like mannequins. They think they're scary. Mm. Wow. Another one restaurant put up uh, a Chinese restaurant put up panda bears. They got big panda bears. So you go in there and sit there and you've got big panda bears. Sitting next to you and people like that a lot. Gee, is this chicken cooked all the way? Usually they do a good job. They did. Let's check it. And corn on the cob. We've, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken's great. The rice is a kind of an Asian thing. Kenzie prefers the mashed potatoes, right? Yeah. With gravy. Mm -hmm. Have you tried rice with your Kentucky Fried Chicken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either way, I don't really like... Mm -hmm. You don't like Kentucky Fried Chicken or you don't like rice? I don't like the rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I build up a appetite after working so hard clearing my room. We haven't been back in the classrooms at, at the school where I was teaching for nine, 10, maybe 11 weeks, at least 10 weeks. We had the dawn face mask. We got COVID, um, excuse me, N95 mask. We were wear in the room. And uh, had to do the rooms from top to bottom. I'm saddened by the fact that we have to throw away a lot of paper that could be recycled. But there's a not good recycling in the city for the high schools and schools right now. It may depend on what part of town your school is. As a whole, I don't think Show Me Staters, that Show Me State is a nickname for the people from Missouri. Many people outside of Missouri don't know that though. And how they got that nickname is probably a question. 
A show me person is a person who who um, is a contrarian. He really doesn't believe what you tell him until you demonstrate or show him. That means they're hard headed and they don't believe it's just rumors. But I think that's changed. There's a lot of Fox TV watchers in Missouri. So they believe whatever they say on that channel. <laughs> even though in Australia owns it. And he wasn't even trusted in Australia when he was taking over the business. Rupert Murdoch, that's who we're talking about. So, sports is starting up. I noticed that some people were out doing volleyball practice. Other people have been doing tennis the whole time. Um, but mostly uh, people are staying away from large groups. You might see some people in the neighborhood talking to each other, getting close and not wearing masks. But and some at the supermarket that way. But usually at the supermarkets, people are wearing masks. It's when they go shopping at Walmart, I don't know. They seem to be less wearing masks there. All these over in Raytown, they have most everybody wears a mask, except one guard and uh, maybe one or two uh, people walking up and down the aisle. But otherwise, it seems to be um, most people taking this more seriously now that they've opened up and more people are out and about in some of these stores, at least the uh, grocery stores, which is a good change. Because a couple weeks ago, when they were first opening up, I went to Walmart, and um, I would say only eight out of every hundred people were wearing a mask that day. It was around the first of um, of May. Hopefully, if I go back to that store, more people and more workers are wearing their mask because the situation does become a little more tricky with more people out, more people meeting each other. Good thing is that we can calm down and enjoy Kentucky Fried Chicken. What you do? Do you prefer more of a Kentucky Fried Chicken, the corn, or something like the gravy on the potatoes? Mm. I recommend gravy on the corn. It's good too. Oh. You know, I'm also cut it up. I appreciate you following along and watching me eat my corn on the cob. But welcome comments too, if you have some. About COVID-19. We're supposed to be keeping diaries and this is kind of a, a visual diary or a vlog of what's happening. And um, as I said, I um, really enjoy adding the Filipino um, extra, the rice and the the sauce.
Oh, somebody's taking my chicken. Mmm. Hand mm. me a piece. Mmm. Kenzie doesn't need a piece. Do you need a piece? Kenzie, mm. come on. No, I already had it. I just want the piece. I'm looking for one of the. What? The chicken leg. Oh, it's just, oh. Like, you know, yeah, I didn't want much. <clears throat> yeah, I got me a chicken leg. I put the put I put the plate here for the bone. Where is it? It's still here on my plate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So somebody came and took my chicken. Mm. Kenzie did, right? Not yet. Well, you tell me if you ever put this um, uh, Filipino sauce on your dishes. Uh, it's on mang, tomas, all purpose sauce. Comes from the Philippines. Can see mang is a sign of respect, right? Like um, Mr. Mang. I don't know. Mm. Okay. I think it does. Why did you ask me? No, oh, you sometimes you call Mama Ning or something, and I thought maybe it was the same thing for a man, Mom. No. Mm. That means sister, actually. <laughs> Ning means yes. sister. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, Filipinos like to eat with their hands. Makes the food taste better, right? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my uh, my chicken leg in peace. But I want to say peace to you. Have a good day. Watch this channel. Like everybody. Bye-bye.